when we see a movie all of us are quite changed and transformed internally aren't we perhaps maybe some of you are not fully present so you don't get it but i think that whenever we have chosen to watch a movie that really affects us because it absorbs us in it and then we start feeling and thinking in those ways it could also happen when we are with people some people we do not want to be with them why because they upset us we don't want them other people we would like to meet them because when we meet them we feel good so there are different kinds of experiences that we have when we are with certain people if you happen to meet pope francis i don't know what your experience will be i know that when john paul the second used to go to from one country to the other many people would weep they used to have an experience something different and today when we are all coming here for jesus we don't seem to be having much we come and we go but nothing has happened to us if that is happening to us then we are not present to ourselves either we may be only in our thoughts or in only in our feelings or only in our concerns we are not really present to ourselves for if we are really present to ourselves and we know that we have come here for mass then surely we are going to have an experience every time we come for mass we listen to the word of god and if it has not touched you then you have not been present to yourself and you have not been present to god's word so we will go come for mass go back and nothing happens to us this is what jesus is telling us you don't know in whose presence you are because you don't know that you are also in your presence if you were present you would know what's going on in your thoughts your feelings and when you come here the lord would evoke this in you and you would say i do not want to do this this way i want to surrender it i want to give it to you lord because only you can help me to come out of it look at what happened when jonah went to nineveh god sent him to nineveh god takes the initiative so when he went there and he told them see 40 days and if you don't repent this is going to be over they heard him and they immediately fasted which meant saying no to what they were used to fasted means saying no i say no to food no to drink no to all my vices and so when they did that and expressed it by their external deed by sitting in ashes and sackcloth not drinking not eating every one of them then god saw that they had the desire to change what about us when we come here do we come with a desire to be the person that we are meant to be in jesus because all of us are in jesus we are baptized in him just like we have different parts of our body we are different parts of his body and each one of us is unique there's no second person so how do we see ourselves whatever may have happened in the past what do you want to do from now on you've heard the word of god you've heard what jesus is telling us have mercy on us o lord for we have sinned are you able to say that i have sinned very often we think that we have not sinned why because we don't know what we are doing know what is happening to us we think we are perfect living in our head maybe other people are saying what kind of person this fellow is or fellow is 
So we are not very much attuned to reality. Now is the time. That's what the word of God tells us. So let us, my dear sisters and brothers, be fully present in the now and with Jesus because it is in him we live, move and have our being. We are not just existing anywhere. We are living in him. So for us who have faith, let us now experience him and allow him to transform us. Because we can't do that. We can just be present to him and you'll see just as you're present to a movie, it'll transform you. You take some drink and then you see how it transforms you. So when you are present to Jesus, it's going to transform us. Let's hold our hands like this. Keep them in our lap. Keep our eyes closed. And with every breath which keeps us alive, Jesus is there because he is the life in us. And we keep everything surrendered to him as we breathe out in his name. And he will certainly set us free from everything, even the good things. We must keep them in him and be free internally. So that only the Lord who is within us can lead us, can be us and we can be him.